Well, some of New Zealand's best musical talents come together to pay homage to one of the greatest influences on New Zealand music, Bob Marley. He died 35 years ago, but his music really does live on. Here to tell us all about the incredible Marley All Stars lineup are two of those stars: the multi-platinum singer songwriter Jason Kerrison and musician yeah. Shelton Woolworth. Yeah. 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 Um, that's drummer. Yeah, from <laughs> and, uh, and everything else as well. You guys, so let me just get, I'm just going to run through some of the people involved in this. So you've Please. got your, your notes here so you can check them off. Uh, Bo Runga, Tikitane, Logan Bell, Rhea Hall, yes, Lawton Cora, yes, yes, Anna yes. Coddington, yes. Yep. Uh, Frank Cora Pedigs. Yes. Everyone, pretty much everyone and anyone is involved in this. So um, incredible. You're the musical director and the vocalist as well. I'm one of the vocalists, yes. I'm one of the guest vocalists. I thought being, being the music director will just get the best of the best, so I should put myself in there. Yeah. Um. How's that work for you? <laughs> yeah. I haven't had anyone come back on the emails yet. Still. <laughs> Shout that musical director. Yeah. Gee, Isn't good it? call with Jason. <laughs> Shout and how are you going to work with this guy for the next couple of months? Well, I've just been, um, actually. Yeah. What, go? I, I, no, just, we've just been to ask him what songs, what songs I'm actually playing, so. <laughs> no, but honestly, this is going to be great because, you know, a lot of these artists you've probably worked with before. Yeah, that, definitely. It's an incredible lineup of musicians. Um, you know, why did you want to jump on board this? Because, you know, there seems to be absolutely everyone who's everyone in it. So why, why did you want to get on board? Just the chance to play some reggae drums, really. Right. Like, I, haven't, I haven't done any reggae since Blind Spots Flex, so, you know, I want to get back amongst it. And share the stage with all these guys, too, so. Turns great talent, still hasn't man. done any reggae grooves or anything since then. Hey, bro, how's, yeah. how's, how's the rehearsals going, mate? Yeah, well, we just oh, found out. rehearsals in a couple oh, of weeks. No, well, so. we just found, oh, I've got two oh, of songs. What, what am I playing? Tension between... <laughs> oh, I can feel it already. Um, Shelton, when you get on stage with like a band like this that you haven't played with yep. <laughs> much at all, how do you actually get it all together? Like, is it difficult? Like, you'll play differently? Is it hard? Or do you all just gel all, you know, all of a sudden? Yeah, well, we've been, like like Jason said, he's been emailing everyone. No one's really replied, but... You know, <laughs> yeah, because you're um, all big deals. This we're gonna, is the thing. We're just going to roll into, I think, Tauranga a few days beforehand and have a, a giant rehearsal, which I will probably end up being a big party. Into Tauranga, bro, we're oh, we are. Okay. Into Tauranga two days beforehand. Rehearsal Stress two days. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, oh my God. you're the musical director, Jase. So obviously, right. you're you know trying to coordinate all of this. Bob Marley's got such a huge catalogue of music. How on earth did you choose what to play? Uh, so it was really not about me picking the songs, but there are obviously songs that we have to play. There are certain songs that we've got to play. Um, and no woman to cry. Yeah, absolutely. Redemption song. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you can r roll them off already, but. Um, also with the people we've got involved, some of them, um, I mean look at Catch a Fire, they named the band after, after one of Bob Marley's albums, so they, they know the tunes and they know a lot of the obscure songs as well. So there's going to be a real healthy dose of those songs that everyone knows, but there's also going to be a bit of stuff from the fringes which would be quite nice just to get a taste of Bob. And for me personally, yes I've known of Bob all my life, um, but I think to have this opportunity to kind of delve into it a bit more has been um, a really good opportunity, really good fun. I've learned a lot about the man recently and watch as many docos as I can on the guy. Jason's got it all under control. I know you have. There's no real tension here at all. No, no, no real pressure, tension. No You've got pressure. it sorted. Absolutely it's sorted. It's, it's easy. Working with professionals. What, what do you <laughs> reckon? It's pretty hard dealing with like, 20 musicians. I bet. Oh, I haven't Don't even counted them. Emails? Is that how many there are? Someone. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's losing hair as we speak. <laughs> what do you think it is, Agree. though, about... Um, because everywhere you go in the world, there is a Bob Marley bar, particularly in Indonesia. Go to Bali, go to one of the Gili Islands. The whole thing is just ringed with Marley or reggae bars. What is it about the music that endures? Well, I'd be guessing, but um, yeah. no, it's great songs, yeah. incredible songs, and the one drop, you know. Um, the What's fact the that, one drop? Well, it's the feel. It's big, yeah, it, you're yeah. probably best to explain the groove. It's just a, a classic reggae groove, really. And, you know, one big thing is putting the, the kick drum on the snare as well. So it's something I learned a long time, a long time ago, and it's kind of something I'll be playing a lot on this show, so... Just gets into that sort of head yeah, thing. Sort of yeah, it does. It, it so moves the, the body. Because really, you're you know? imagining the kick, really, eh? Where it, used, where it should be the yeah. backbeat that we've all grown up with. So you kind of, where is it? Oh, there it is. Where is it? Yeah. So before you know it, your whole body is kind of moving with it. But I also get the sense that from a lyrical perspective, you know, he's um, just really en encapsulates the struggle of what the, the movement was going through. And it resonated with a lot of people around the, around the world, not just, you know, New Zealand indigenous culture. Yeah, and I was going to ask you about that because I guess, you know, Kiwis not only love the music and the freedom, but they, you know, the, the political messages of Bob Marley over the years too, are they just starting to resonate with people now? Why have we left it so late? <laughs> oh, I think it always has, and it's part of his mass popularity in the, back in the day. Once again, it wasn't just New Zealand that uh, found him popular. He was suddenly massive around the world, and 
um, and with that came his own struggles, you know. So um, he found himself in the middle of this really um, fractious situation in Jamaica and he ended up getting shot and um, moved to um, America because of it. So, you know, I think he's always been in the heart of the controversy and I just don't think those issues have changed too much. Well, I tell you what, really looking forward to it. Shouting just quickly, um, how is I Am Giant going and what are you working on now? It's great. So I've just been in the UK um, finishing a new album. Nice. For I Am Giant and also been touring and touring over summer with my new group Kinetic, which is with Lawton Cora, who is also on this. Excellent. So you'll have it all going on. And um, we need to get you back at some stage to talk about your earth ship that you are building. Yes, that ma'am. is just fascinating. Mm, yes, earth isn't ship? it? Yeah. 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 But really looking forward to um, finding out about this concert, yeah. and it's going to be all under control too, I've got no doubt. Uh, Mali All Stars, New Zealand All Stars, is in Tauranga on the Friday the 9th of December and in Hawke's Bay on Saturday 10th December with an additional show in Kitty Kitty in February as well. You can check out the Event Finder website for ticket details. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Good Thank to you. see you both. Awesome. Looking forward to that gig.